discuss the comments. Can I see this guy's league? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they leave due to Cannon Rush because they lost. This guy is an embarrassment to the Masters community. I guarantee he posted all 92 comments in this thread whining about cannon rushes. Terran's blessed day, so the Terran's whining got their way and nerfed the war prism. Instead of building the missile turrets. See, this is... Can I see this guy's league? This is when you're bronze league. Can I see his profile? Oh my god let's check this comment again so the whining terrans got there so the whining terrans got their way nerfed the warpers instead of building missile turrets literally there's nowhere in the in a fucking post where they said they nerfed it because of missile turrets in terrans like it was zergs that were complaining the most <laughs> Amazing. Let's check this guy. Dude, this is this is fun. I should do this more often. Were you sleeping all this time? Give a Terran give Terran a real late game versus Toss. I again I'm saying like I think Terran's favored against Protoss in the late game. Not by a lot, by by but by a bit. What about Nidus? It's broken. Let's check this guy's profile. Wait, I can't see his profile? I mean, he probably doesn't even play the game. Still ignoring the highest win rate strategy in the game, cannon rushing while fighting away to nerf other toss things. No one is leaving the game, his toss can recall every 85 seconds. <laughs> Meanwhile, lots of people leave due to cannon rushing. Yeah, they leave due to cannon rushing because they lost. A Zerg late game is so imbalanced, but it's cute to act like a small infester nerf might solve it. Like a drop of water is all that is needed to fill an empty ocean. When every other race is so much more mobile than Toss and can attack them at every base and at the same time, yeah. They're going to be out of position a lot, it's impossible to be in every spot as Toss. I second this, I would also like a nerf to Void Rays. <laughs> oh my god, what, what league, wait, what league are these guys? I just have to see this, sorry. Oh, view profile! Okay, I'm excited. So Frosty Feet is the guy that wants Void Rays nerfed. And this guy is Master and was Grandmaster. And he wants Cannon Rushes nerfed. I, I honestly expected this guy to be Diamond at highest. Highest. This guy is an embarrassment to the Masters community. Now let's check the... No, this is the Cannon Rush guy, right? Yeah, this is the Cannon Rush player. Except he's not playing well against cannons. This guy... Yeah, this guy never played game in his life. He has no idea what's going on. Yeah, level 8. This guy is... Uh, I mean, see, maybe he has 140 achievement points and is level 8 Terran. But, you know, Void Rays, when he <clears throat> watches tournaments, are clearly dominating the scene. So they need to be nerfed, right? Um, amazing. Amazing. But he is Grandmaster in forums, if you guys didn't know. Uh, he's actually a well just established Twitch Grandmaster uh, gamer. What does this guy say? Stim is a vital upgrade for Bible. This guy wrote so much. Oh my god. We'll just skip this one. Oh, dude, this guy's smart. Wait, wait, wait. This guy's smart. Wait, wait, hold up. Wait, wait. Okay, this one. Um. Yeah, look, this guy, we found a smart person on Blizzard forums? Wait, hold up. Hold up. The, this research change of Steam's going to create some really broken pushes in TVP, especially with the two base power of tank all-ins. Okay, let's see what he says about the EMP. I really like this edition. We'll have both buy and mech players deep against Lake EM Protoss, and both buy and mech ZVT. Dude, this Huge brain on this guy. Huge brain. He's, he'll say exactly the same things like I am. Amazing. 
Do you see that self uh, stroke? Uh, the problem is the infested Terran is the energy cost. For 200 energy, you can get eight of them. Infested Terrans only cost 25. Now pull, multiply that by how many infestors you have, and you might as well be playing Cop Commander. Okay, I actually agree with this. I mean, they could they could nerf the infested uh, Terran energy or, or make it 50 energy. I agree with that. Auto turns on the Raven cost 50 energy are much more harder to spam and take up a lot bigger surface area. That's a good point. If infested Terrans took more space, that's also a nerf. Wow. Amazing. Great change. Is this one of you guys? Is this one of my subscribers? This is some high IQ stuff. Who was it, guys? Admit. I know it's one of you. You guys are all GM. Great change. The set to build time was needed to be longer, but it felt it was a little too long. Amazing. Look at this guy, dude. Good change. That's what I said too. Amazing. And the warp prism? This will be interesting to test, but it's not the warp speed of the warp prism is the problem. It's a pickup range of six, which allows the warp prism to never be at risk of just behind the professor's Wait, did I post this? Ah, uh, I can't give him a heart. Ah, uh, hell no, I'm not logging in. Wow. Let's check this guy's league. What do you think? What league is this guy? Obviously watch the stream and then post it. He posted 15 hours ago. Amazing. View profile. Okay, what league do you guys think it is? Masters, rank 1 GM? Blizzard, get this guy to balance your game right now. My own mind. That's a great name too. With 10,010 achievement points. Blizzard, get on this guy. Get him to balance your game right now. This guy knows his stuff. If I was logged in, I would reply to him true. Just true. Give him a heart. If you're logged into Benla, give him a heart. And tell him amazing. Amazing. Oh, there's there's frosty feet. <laughs> there's frosty feet with his. He's just spamming like yeah, nerf void rays. Just nerf the void rays. They're too strong. <laughs> Voids are arguably the worst hidden in the game. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I EMP buff won't change anything. Why not let the warp prism warp in eleven seconds? Well, because you'd rather just build a pylon then. True. Overall, I like the direction where the patch is heading. Most complaints of the community and pros have heard. It's all that I explained by the past. So one of the biggest issues here is the range of Tempest being 15. That's not true. This guy's master. I can tell you this guy's master because... Check this out. Check this out. I'm calling it right now. Grandmaster. Oh, you guys can't see. He's GM in team. Amazing. We're not in team. That's Harkon. Okay. I thought this guy was master. Okay. He has a sick win rate. 36 out of 90 games. Okay, Diamond fits too. Because you know what? You know how I knew he was master? I thought he was master, but how I knew he's Diamond slash master? Because who under Diamond makes Tempest? You know? Yeah. They make Void Rays, apparently. Okay. Oh, this is too much. Hell no. You gotta post less. This is too much. Okay, this guy this guy bailed on his comment. Wait, what? Why not add Ooh Why not add EMP upgrade to cloak research for an national 50 minerals and 50 gas? Ooh. Amazing. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Do you build photon cannons around the edges of your base to defend Metavax? If not, you can redact your comment. Yes, and we add shield batteries and units to defend. You know, like, everyone does but Terran. If there's a race that makes a shitload of turrets... If there's a race that makes turrets around their base or Static D, it's Terran. Let's see this guy's league. Let me just inspect him real quick. 
Lol to base them all in. Protoss will be forced to use only cannons versus Terrans. What league is this guy? Ooh, Master! Wait, he's he's Master? And he's making mass cannons shield batteries around his base. Maybe that's why he's losing. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, and this guy... Protoss will be forced to use only cannons versus Terrans. Diamond. When would you ever use only cannons versus... What? Amazing. I completely agree. Blizzard just keeps adding upgrades to Terran that we have more upgrades than anyone. Why not just combine this upgrade to make it more efficient? Stop giving Terran more upgrades. Hey, I agree with that. Terran has too many upgrades at this point. Too many. I'm sorry, but just too many upgrades. I didn't even think about that. Dude, Battle.net forums... I, I've already figured it out. I've been on the Battle.net forums for 10 minutes, okay? Battle.net forums... I, I just figured it out. You have a guy that's... Nerf Void Rays! Nerf Cannon Rushes! Uh, void Rays OP! Then you have the second guy, which is... I have no opinion on the balance, but I do like your new website, Blizzard. Ha ha! By the way, when is the more story in, com in your comics coming out? And then you have the third guy, which is the high IQ monster. Which is, I know it's all you guys in the chat. I know this is all you posting, all these smart comments. Uh, th this has to be all the people from my YouTube channel and uh, all the people that are specifically subscribed to my Twitch channel are the ones posting the, uh, the, the high level comments. So there we go. That's pretty much uh, you Battle.net forums in, uh, in a nutshell. Huge Terran buff, huge Zerg nerf, huge Protoss nerf. Typical balance match. Anyways, I don't think this is too bad. <laughs> I love this. Wines? I don't think this is too bad, even though I don't like the stim buff. <laughs> Zerg and Protoss players are still better in general, so I think it should be balanced out pretty fast. <laughs> As the guy replies, forever diamond, nothing to see here. Okay, let's check this. Is he really diamond? 11 times. Psy Storm Gaming Community. Amazing. I'm just gonna guess this guy, it's a high level, this is super smart gamer, right? This guy is a Zerg player. The, the way he cries, right? The way the tears are dropping, he has to be Zerg. How do I, how do I see what's his most played race? Has to be Zerg. Achievements. Ooh, this is the one. Hey. Told you guys. I know. I just I just know the tears. I just know the tears. Zerg players whine in a very special way. I know their whine. They're like, my race is the worst. My my race is the worst. And like, you know. Other races are so buff, but it doesn't matter. You know, I'll just outplay them anyway. That That's Zerg in a nutshell. The Terran whining is different. The Terran whining is like, fuck this game, dude. I'm never playing it. This is bullshit. I sh bullshit. A Storm's bullshit. Infestors is bullshit. Broodlord is... How do you even kill Broodlords? That's Terran whining. And then Protoss, meanwhile, they're like, Cannon rush. Eight gate war prism all in it. Storming the Terrans. And then they're going on forums and whining about chat rays and cannons. Amazing. It's true. Think about it. Go, like, go on Reddit. Trust me. Use this knowledge that I just shared. Go on Reddit. Read a comment. Just, just read a comment and just think what race is this guy. You're going to get it every time. Every single time. That's how it is. <clears throat> the stem change is by far the most controversial of these. No, it really is not. Especially since it affects TVZ about as much as it affects TVP. And TVZ is in the focus of these balanced discussions. So I'd be very wary of the stem changes. <laughs> no, it's not. Like, that's the... 
the smallest change probably in TVZ. Are you lost, Commander? Oh, that guy is lost for sure. I open his page and it says, Are you lost, Commander? I mean, hey. Okay. Please nerf Nidus. Man, I should do this more often. What do you guys think? I should do this more often. I just open a random thread on, on Blizzard forums and we just read them together. This is fun. This is like new content, right? New series. Reading Battle Edge forums to Grandmaster. <clears throat> I mean, if I start at Silver, I'm going to be GM by just absorbing this knowledge in like a couple of days. So only a couple of episodes, apparently. Please nerf Nidus, especially with Swarmo's combo, and bring back Overlord drops. What do you mean, bring back Overlord drops? They're in the game. Dropper Lords, upgraded obvious, should have speed of Overseer with speed upgrade. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's faster than a medevac that's boosted. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Do you guys know how fast the overseers with speed are? Can you imagine dropper lords just like just flying over your army? Okay, what league is this guy? This guy, this guy is, I would say, platinum. Plat or diamond, but I'm leading towards plat. Let's see. Total career games, one. Crazy lovers. Now, let me tell you, this guy, look, this guy is, I know it, I figured it out. I guarantee, check this out. This guy is, this is his role play account, right? Ex Exister, he's like super try hard, wop wop, you know, being all cute, crazy lovers, getting them girls, of course. And then he has a smurf, he is Platinum League, and he's playing on a barcode. And then you ask him, why do you play on a barcode, you're Plat? And he says, to practice my builds. Guaranteed. This is, this is that guy. This is that guy for sure. And he's obviously a Zerg player. But it doesn't make sense. He wants uh, Nidus nerfed, but he wants back Dropper Lords. Doesn't make sense, I don't know, it's weird. Maybe it's Protoss, actually. Yeah, he's not, he's not like, emo enough to be Zerg, but he's not ragey enough to be Terran. So maybe he's a Protoss. Really weird. Actually, we got a mystery. Definitely a barcode on the second account, though. Okay, this is the comment from earlier. Not sure if I like these changes. I like that the Protoss representation term is getting addressed in general. And I like that War Prison is being looked at. But the problem with the Warp Prism wasn't that it could warp in units <gasps> in four seconds, but it was fast and had big pickup range. There we go. Another one of you guys. Who was it? Who posted this? I know it's one of you. Who, who was it? Super smart guy right here. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Th yeah, there we go. There we go. People responding in the chat. Nice. Okay. If one on one isn't for a Grandmaster on EU and NA, then who is it for? Oh, this is the guy that, that said uh, cannon rushes are OOP. We've normalized 70% win rates while bickering about 2% edges. I don't care how long a 99% win rate build has been in the game, it's as imbalanced and stupid as, as it was 9 years ago. Wait, is he saying that cannon rushes have a 99% win rate? Dude, I wish... Uh, should I log in and ask this guy to cannon rush me? It's not last minute to nerf the strongest strat in the game. <laughs> it's called doing your job. This is pathetic. These guys have to reach out to random streamers. Maybe they should spend some time tracking win rates for certain strats inst instead of seeking random opinions. I love how Blizzard talking to top 20 Grandmaster pro gamers and like... I mean, they're not talking to streamers, they're talking to players that are high level, is random opinions, but this fucking guy that's like random master player is like, listen to me, I lose to cannon rushes, it has 99% win rate, nerf it. I guess this is the, the way Protoss is won. 
And I, you know what my favorite part about this comment is? He's a Protoss player on a page with Protoss nerfs and he's whining that they're not nerfing Protoss. <laughs> he's not asking to revert the Protoss changes. He's not asking for Zerg to be nerfed, Terran to be nerfed. He's whining about Protoss. That's my favorite part. The one Protoss whiner we find and he also nerfs about Protoss. Now that's hot. Cannon rushes should definitely be addressed. It is the most, it is by far the most cancerous and overpowered strategy in StarCraft 2. I love how these comments are just very, very much liked by the people. I already did. <laughs> oh man. Wait, what league was this guy? This guy is balancing the game. Cannon rush should be, uh, definitely be addressed. I already did in my better game balance mod. Made Forge require a gateway. What league was he? Dude, this guy's, this guy's David Kim on his own. This guy's Dustin Browder. Oh, I said the diamond guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a lot of input on the game. I definitely feel that. Uh, oh, he's a Zerg player. Okay, okay. He's a Zerg player and he took it upon himself. What a saint. I mean, think about it. What a saint. He took the time from his day to go out there and make a better balanced game. That's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Thank you for your contribution, my own mind. That was... Wow, can we just get, just give some kappa claps to this guy. Amazing. Way to turn the race into, to turn the game into two race league. If any Protosses stay after this patch, I feel really bad for them. Oh, he has more, wait, wait. I wasn't gonna open his thing, but he has more comments to say. 27,000 game and I think this is what makes me quit. Good job, Blizzard. 27,000 games, that's a lot of games, guys. For a casual gamer. Master player right now in Diamond. Master achieved six times current league Diamond. Man, well he's lying, it's 23,000 games. But I'm sure as a Diamond, sometimes Master, since, you know, eight years ago, he probably has a Smurf barcode as well. And you know what? Um, apparently, the, the nerf made him quit the game and not being a diamond gamer after 27,000 games. Well, there it is. We lost one, boys. We lost one. A cannon or a turret will shoot down a medevac. Neither stops a war prison from flying over it and then stopping in the middle of your main. You need a viking or multiple turrets and a bad prison pilot to shoot it down that way. True. Who was this? This is one of you guys. This is one of you guys. My oh my, dude, he's back. Wait, he's back already. He's, po dude, if he played the game as much as he posted, he would be GM by now. Balance team, these changes right here are very good. The steam change is potentially disastrous and the war prism change is missing the mark. Hey, I'll give him a halvesy, okay? This is someone from the chat, but he's not a subscriber yet, okay, to the stream. But this is one of you guys. Nice destroying sense of warping instead of nerf change or for example energy on infestors. Now this is someone that's recently tuned into my stream and started watching it more and more. Okay, not a sub yet, but getting there. Too long, too long, let's be honest. I like this because this is like too long, but it's spaced out so it bamboozles my brain into thinking that it's not long. Yes, please, I believe this is the best buff since timing. This is a Terran player. No, I don't need to... Like, I don't need to read more after this. Terran player. There we go. Since time is with first meta, they're not doing anything currently in both TVs and TVP. Terran player. Probably plays on a barcode in Gold League. Now, this guy's diamond. This guy's diamond. Mini game timings and TVs are currently non existent, <clears throat> but with enhanced timings of Stim, we may even see some mid game action. Well, we know. I don't know. I don't see why. Is this what pro gamers you talk to ask for? I don't think this is what anyone asked for. I honestly don't know where this change came from. Never miss this low skill OP unit. Yeah, this is a tear. This is a tear. When when someone complains and says something is low skill, that is a Terran player. Because we all know Terran's brain is five head. Now, if you don't know what five head is, type it in the chat so that people on YouTube can see as well. Terran players the most skilled gamers in the world and 
yeah. See, see, this is a sneaky Terran player, right? Check this out. Never miss this low skill OP unit. Maybe it just nerfed the infested Terran. See what they're saying? Maybe just, maybe just nerf Zerg and don't buff Protoss. Maybe, maybe just do that. How about that instead? Oh, look at that. It's a Terran player. Amazing. He's masters. Amazing. I'm telling you guys, you can recognize who plays what race. You just look at what they're saying. This is too much. I'm not gonna read this. Ah, oh, this guy is responding to the playa, the whiner. Maybe it's the highest winner strategy on ladder. There are a million ways to counter cannon rush. This is one of you guys. Who who is it? I guess it's one of the lowest rated win rates in pro play too. But I'm curious. Instead of complaining, what proposed solution would you have to prevent cannon rushes that wouldn't nerf the regular Protoss gameplay? One of you guys for sure. This this comment is so smart. So proud of this community. Amazing. And then this guy cries more, which, you know. They could make the forge more expensive or increase the building time of cannon. Can I ask something? How does how does posting here work? Because sometimes I see a post of people responding to other people, but it's posted as a regular post. You know what I mean? Is it just in a row? How does it how does it work? I could see increasing cannon build time. I wouldn't like a more expensive forge unless it was made up for decreasing a plus one blah blah blah. You know, they should nerf a cannon rush when it has more than 20% win rate in pro plays. Maybe then. Until then, learn to play, you nooblet. Oh my god, this guy, dude. I guarantee he posted all 92 comments in this thread. Out of 139, 92 were his whining about cannon rushes. Oh, there's his comments from earlier. Okay, well, too long. If cannon required a gateway and a forge to build, Amazing. I <laughs> carry her so much. Uh, any buff to that makes me nervous. This guy, I know this guy. This guy's a random player. I saw this guy in my chat. Here we go. This is one of you guys. This guy was uh, saying that cannons shouldn't be nerfed. Platinum, in game, but he is Grandmaster in the chat. It's one of you guys. Good job. Yeah, I saw that. This guy's random player, I think. No, he's in my Discord. You guys can tag him. <sighs> yeah, he is random. I bet... I wonder if he says his race. That's the only thing in my mind. Because the only thing I hate more than Festers are those darn random players destroying my ladder experience by not telling me their race straight at, at the beginning of the game. Disgusting. Stupid sh random players. If random players didn't exist, I would be at least one league higher than I am right now. Too long? Like, who posed these? I mean, this is too long. N ain't nobody got time for that. Karen is giving new light. Well, do, do we even need to say what race this guy is? Wrong guy? No, no, no. Wait, you guys are saying wrong guy? What? I opened this guy. Look, view profile. Wait, is he... Is it Masters on Discord? Nerf it right now. Put it, mods, put it to bronze right now. We have screenshot right here. No one wants to play a can against the cannon rush. It simply isn't enjoyable for anyone. See, that's a lie, okay? That's a lie. You can see that this guy is not a Protoss. I'm sorry. Maybe you don't get enjoy getting cannon rushed, but cannon rushing is pretty enjoyable. Pretty enjoyable if you were the one doing it and then you see the other person struggling and panicking so I don't know man I don't know see this guy the next see this guy's the next level feral <laughs> this guy made one post but not only he gave his opinion about the patch well, he actually didn't give his opinion about the patch at all. He actually gave his opinion how you can nerf other Zerg units. Or wait, is it buffing? Oh, he, oh, he's a Zerg gamer that's complaining how all the other Zerg units have been nerfed. Interesting. Feral. Bronze League. Bronze. Damn. 
but he's a Zerg player. All right, this was some pretty good stuff, guys. I don't know. I've I've never I've never done this. I would love to hear your guys' opinion if uh, this is this is epic content you guys would like to see from time to time. Obviously not like once a week, but that was a lot of fun. Reading these comments, checking the people's leagues, recognizing crying from uh, their comments. Beautiful, beautiful. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on YouTube about these legendary highest IQ people that I've seen in my life. Amazing. Now let's get into some ladder games, boys. Let's do it.